Hello. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. What's up, you are? Uh, it's my honor to be the speaker of IEEE webinar. Thanks for the invitation. Thanks, Scott. Uh, maybe. Hello. Yeah, Mingvi, we could hear you. Let me start. Uh, welcome, everyone, to the CSAB webinar series. My name is Ritu you, Sethi. Yes, sorry, sorry. I'm the <laughs> vice chair of the Standards Activities Board, and I'll be your webinar moderator today. Uh, let's keep some housekeeping items out of the way. The webinar is being recorded, and the slides and recording will be made available after the webinar. Uh, you can ask your question in the question and answer panel. Today's presenter will answer as many questions as possible following today's presentation. Um, before we get started with the, today's webinar, uh, let me also introduce uh, briefly to you to this IEEE CS Standards Activity Board mission and the various active standard committees that it foresees. Here, um, the mission of the IEEE CS SAB is to encourage computer society members to participate in standardization activities, to promote the use of IEEE standards, and to develop useful products that leverage IEEE standards within the scope of this computer society. Moreover, the mission of CS SAB is to promote and foster industry participation and engagement through standards, but also through other activities. And it, you know, you can read it through how the CSAB accomplishes this mission by working with different other IEEE CS boards and committees to provide standards leadership, helping them ensure the vitality and success, um, helping to establish new standards activities in response to changes and advances in the computing profession, serving as a sponsor for standards activities for which an appropriate existing sponsor does not exist, and working with the other computer society boards to identify initiatives for a wider industry participation in computer society activities. Uh, here I'm flashing a slide listing down the various SAB standards committees. Uh, and one of them is where the, the blockchain and the distributed ledgers where we have this webinar talk about in detail for all of us. Um, so just as an introduction to the speaker, we have Ming Li, who is a chair of IEEE Computer Society Blockchain and Distributed Ledger Standards Committee, come and present on the standards today. We also have uh, uh, with us Scott Levine with the IEEE Computer Society staff, who's also on the, uh, on the webinar, and he'll be helping us with the logistics for the session. Uh, and with that, let's get ready for today's presentation. Uh, Mingli, the floor is yours. Please go ahead. OK, thank you. Uh, hello again. I'm Mingli, work for uh, standard institute in China, and uh, our main job is uh, standard development focus on blockchain industry. It's my honor to be the chair of IEEE Computer Society Blockchain Committee. I also the member of GTC1, IC40, and ISO TC07, which is responsible for the development of Today, I will introduce four topics. Firstly, I will introduce something about what is blockchain. There are many understanding about, uh, about blockchain, but I think I should start from the wider level digital economy. Recently, the world is transformed from the industrial to digital economy, and the digital transformation is being carried out. In this processes, digital industrialization and the industrial digitalization are two important ta tasks. DI is to promote the formulation of digital technology industry to maximize the support of the real economy. DI does not just start from now. It has been start since 
TCP IP and 3W, which has been the foundation of AI. The emerging of blockchain and big data and other technologies push the digital in industrialization into a new stage. ID is the utility of digital technology in various industry to promote industrial development, such as fintech, direct tech, and the industrial internet, are all belong to the industrial di digitalization. The core element of ID and DI is data, which is maximum the utility of the data to promote the process of digital transformation. So data is the key element of digital economy. So where did data come from? Let's go back to 2000, 2000 years. Our main job is system integration at that time. The object of our work is hardware including maybe host, uh, rotor, switch, and other integration technology. We connect hardware by internet, TCP, IP, 3W, to form a network. So we could send email and post BBS. From 2005 to 2010, software development is coming, which can be divided into two stages enterprise application and uh, and uh, internet. The object of our work is software. We complete the development and the construction of software through software engineering method and the C, C++, Java, and other language. After 2015, a lot amount of data generated. System integration and software engineering can now solve those problems of data. Therefore, new generation information technology technologies such as blockchain, big data, cloud computing, and artificial intelligence, one after another, to release the value of data. So as everyone knows, digital economy has been approved as a new revolution to, to the future in the world. Data is the kernel factor of digital economy. And it has two characters. Firstly, the cost of data can be reduced with the increasing of application. It can be reused easily under the permission of the governments. And the different combination of data can provide more value. For example, if I add my email address to my name, then you can get more value space than just know my name. Secondly, the business model of digital economy is not just selling data because of the reason of privacy. Also, it is difficult to define the price of data. For example, again, how can you define the price of my name plus my email address? And how to distinguish the price between your information and mine? So, however, we have seen a lot of service driven by data and get value from the service such as Google search engine, provide search service based on the data. So the service driven by data become the popular business model in the digital society. From the technic, technic uh, perspective of the key element of the data economy, the digital economy is data, blockchain, and the other new generation information technology is the tool of data processing. The main must task to maximize the value of data and produce state-based service. Furthermore, promoting the development of digital economy. Sorry. 
So we, we, what is uh, exactly blockchain is? ISO 22739 defined the blockchain as the distributed ledger composed by blockchain that are confirmed by certain consensus and uh, sequen sequentially listed with cryptography technologies. The vocabulary is blockchain and the distributed larger technology. Blockchain is just the, the simple name. Blockchain refers to a data structure formed by block and the chains. Distributed ledger is the structure of the network. It provides the trustless, trustless consensus. Blockchain is to use a series of technology, including encryption consensus, incentive mechanism, and other related technologies to providing a trustless technical system. The most important concept here is decentralization. It is just the expression of distributed system. If we look decentralization as zero and the centralization as one, the decision of which side should we follow is not dependent on the te technology. It should, it should be decided by the requirements of the application. For example, governments should regulate the cross should be near to one. And the application may be coaching, logistic, may be near to zero. So I think it should be decided by the, by the application, not decided by the technology. That is the meaning of the decentralization from my perspective. Furthermore, if we think the decentralization deeply, the central did not disappear. We just uh, deliver our decision right to the algorithm. And the famous movie has shown the result that human being controlled by machine. The movie named the, the Matrix is a very famous movie. As a, so, Sorry. As I, everyone know, blockchain composed by security algorithm consensus and the incentive mechanism. The incentive mechanism is the most important character for blockchain technology. It is a great innovation because it built a self-performing perf system, Bitcoin. Network has no CEO, CIO, and the other officer, but the value of Bitcoin almost equal to Apple, which is the biggest company in the world. And the rewards in this loop is just for promoting, promoting the performing of the system. It's not the target. It's, it's just one procedure to enable people participants into the network, but lots of people chase it as targets. So ICO and the other business model, financial model was popular and the dangerous activity. Blockchain could provide more business, sorry. However, we should know the relationship between those benefits. Firstly, blockchain can provide the security system and it could reduce the cost of the applications such as tracing system could save money for prevent fake products. Furthermore, the reduction could enable the collaboration in the supply chain and then more collaboration could accelerate the 
economy economic exchange. Ming, this is Scott. I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, I think your audio is cutting in and out here and there. Do you want to um, just turn off your video? And I think that might help with the connection. Yeah, I I think I'm on the video now. Yeah, if you if, um, do, you want to turn it off, and then that might help um, help with your audio. Okay. It's okay for me. Thank you. Uh, Scott? Yeah. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, blockchain have a lot of benefits, but it also have many constraints and risks. The financial model bring more challenge to governments now. Many problems about uh, AML, CFT, KYC bring a lot of risk to the financial system. And the new security problems should be considered, such as privacy, the, the bug of uh, smart contracts, and so on. Blockchain industry has no typical business now. Most of the company provide the, the software developing uh, service. It's not blockchain-based service. It's just a system integration. At last, there are no, there are not enough related resources to form to form an ecosystem such as the professional technician, the related law and the regulation directive. Okay, let, let's go to the second part. Where should we go? As I mentioned earlier, we should talk about it from the technical perspective, since blockchain includes tech, tech, economy, and the society attributes. From different perspectives, we could find a com completely different value. For example, token probably is another important value topic. However, it's not accepted by regulation in many countries right now. So we don't talk about it here. We just talk about technology in this slide. Uh, from uh, in 20, uh, 2008, Bitcoin was established as a decentralized payment network using distributed network. Hash function, Merkle tree, and other related technologies additionally utilize the incentive and the consensus mechanism. This process can be defined as a process of technical exploration. After global experts studied Bitcoin network and extracted blockchain technology from it, many companies developed the blockchain systems such as Fabric and because to supporting the exploration of applying solution. For example, the tracing and the proof of existence, this process of focus on application practice. We believe that it is necessary to establish technical application and the service system based on the existing application pro practice in the near future. The whole process is from the technical exploration to application pro practice and the ecosystem needs to be supported by standardization. Therefore, it can be concluded, concluded that blockchain industry is the transforming from small scale application to large scale practice now. The technical application and service system should be formulated in the near future to 
support the ecosystem. From the technical system, many applications have been developed in many industries in China right now. I think maybe in the world it's the same. Plus, platformization, modularization, and integration are three tendencies. From the perspective of pla platformization, different applications with different platforms are the worst solution for industry. Things it will take more cost, including money, technician, and time. The best solution is just like the industry of the industry of the cloud computing. Less huge platform can support most applications since the practice are almost the same in the early stage of blockchain industry. With the development of the practice, personal requirements will be proposed by customer. Less and the simple platform cannot support the different requirements. So modularization should be considered. Key technical components should be isolated from the platform to, to, to form some tiny software or toolkit to respond to different requirements quickly. Actually, the blockchain can now solve most scenario independently. It and it cannot also replace the, the traditional and the centralized system. It should be integrated with the traditional system and the other new generation technology to maximize the value of data. For plat uh, platformization. Huge platform had been formed in China last year, Changchun, uh, Xianghu Chin, Shu Xin Chin. Lots of blockchain platform emerged recently. They must be connected to each other, otherwise we built value islands just like data island before. The connection of blockchain will form a new network. We just name it maybe city chain cluster or industry industry blockchain cluster. And it will be a new network structure. For the modularization, with the increasing of application based on the emerge or, or based on the emerge of blockchain cluster. Flexible, flexible infrastructure should be enabled by the personal requirement. So the com common components will be settled down and the key components will be isolated from blockchain platform. And the, the connection of components will be built a component service network. And the component service network, not, uh, the component service ecosystem will be formulated driven by business requirements. For the integration, blockchain cannot exist isolated. It should be integrated with the traditional system such as ERP, MIS, and so on. And it also should be integrated with AI, IoT, and the other new generation technologies. Things different tech has different has different underlying platform. For example, AI based on TensorFlow, maybe big data based on Hadoop uh, and Spark, and so on. So we cannot build a system with many underlying platforms. So the common components of each tag should be settled down again, and the specific com components form a widely service network. The combination of the common comments will form a new digital operation system to focus on the maximum value of data different from the Windows or Linux operation system focus on object. 
application system. Lot of application model came out based on the different industries, such as education, healthcare, justice, and uh, energy. However, we cannot classify the blockchain application by industry because it is just like exhaustion. Actually, the evidence and the education certificates utilize the same capability of blockchain, which is undistorting maybe. So we should classify blockchain's application in logic. For example, all application of blockchain rely on its basic ability of proof of existence, we just call it POE, for the further tracing and the exchange. The process is based on the native digital assets, but if we want to manage the physical assets by blockchain, we need my physical asset to digital assets. So we can get blockchain application model, which are POE transaction or exchange, securization and the service to mapping physical assets into digital world. We just call it on-chain technology. And for the service system, Normally, blockchain is mostly used as bus and POE. Let's look at the service system. Most of the current services are focused on the lower left corner in this picture. But we believe blockchain can do things more than bus and POE. We can look at it from different perspectives, such as technology, data assets, industry and the third parties. Technically, we can not only provide bus, but also provide cross-chain service in the future, as I mentioned before. In addition, we can also build smart contracts as a model to provide interoperability service. We can also provide service to guarantee data security and protect private pri 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 a database service can be POE, and it can also be Oracle service and content filtering. It's not a simple application. It needs a long time to build filter policy, and it will be requested by most governments. For startup company, who are not able to build this kind of content filtering service. They can purchase the service from the providers to ensure that their blockchain platform meets the requirements of the government. From the perspective of assets, industry, and the third parties, more service can be provided. Therefore, we believe that it's necessary to innovate service model and build service system from the perspective of, te of technologies, data assets, and the third parties of blockchain. We need to extend our view to create more value business model to accelerate the progress of blockchain eco ecosystem. If blockchain technology is the future, it a higher quality ecosystem should be formulated. So tech like system should be performed, uh, should be perfected to suit for the large scale industry application. Bitcoin is a great innovation, but however, it's just a focus on the payment. This is just a tiny part of the ecosystem. So we need to enhance the capabilities of blockchain tech, tech Good naked system. Applo uh, application driven is the efficient way to enable the development of, of technology. So we need to try to put it into most scenario to verify and improve the the feasibility of blockchain tech. 
finally, if attack have no been a model, it's just the, the, the experiments in the lab. We need a service system to release the value of blockchain. So tag application and the service system should be pushed for building a higher quality ecosystem and bring value to the real life. Now let's go to the, the third part, what we have done. Maybe I, I, I need to go faster. I saw ISO here. ISO started the TC07 at the end of 2016. The proposal was made by Standard Australia, which is acting as the secretary to promote the standardization of TC07 now. The main work of ISO TC07 to, is to develop the international standard in blockchain industry. Uh, until now, until uh, main 2021, TC07 has set up five working group, one study group, and one joint working group, 11 standard and the development, and the four standard published. And for IEEE, IEEE Computer Society Blockchain Distributed Ledger Standard Committee was approved at the end of 2019. We start from P2418.2 date format. Here we can see why. Here we can see why we start from data because we believe that blockchain is the tool of to mass move data, uh, mass move the value of data. Everything can be started from data. For example, interoperability is the key technology based on data and the product tracing is also the key application on data. Assets is also the uh, another kind of data. So the standard system could involve six elements which are basic standard and data and technology, application, asset, service. Basic standard are the foundation of the other standard. Data is the core element in the framework. It will support all the other standards. We are trying to build a new great standard system learning from ADO2 theory. Until now, I, we have 19 standards and the, the development and um, one standard published, which is um, that format for blockchain system. And uh, we will continue to invite more entity and experts together with, uh, together with us to develop, develop valuable standard in IEEE. In China, we start our blockchain standardization at the end of 2016. It's almost the same time with ISO TC07. We have four standard, uh, four national standard approved until now. There are reference architecture, application guide for proof of existence, smart contracts, and uh, vocabulary. And we are also building the blockchain and the distributed ledger committee to promote the national standardization and the fulfill the responsibilities of Chinese Mirror Committee with ISO TC07. We did our best to promote the standardization to industry. The standard is our benchmark, and we have done a lot of work to accelerate the development of the industry. For example, the training, the Hakson library, and open source community, which can provide more excellent talent, talent and good project quality, qualified system, and so on. The most important job for us is to build a certification system so we can develop testing specification and uh, and uh, uh, 
capability evaluation standards to direct the certification program for the industry. The testing specification include functional performance, reliability, and the compliance that can provide testing service for blockchain system. Service capabilities evaluation standard includes the evaluation for enterprise resource uh, HR and the technologies because we believe that blockchain system development is not just a technical integration. It should be look as look it should be looked as a service from the provider to customer. So the capabilities of enterprise is very important. So let's go to the final part. What what we are thinking. We did blockchain standardization from 2016. Technic technically, we are entering the key technical research from kernel te technical research. The key technical research focus on the engineering to support the practice. The kernel research focus on the consensus algorithm and 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 the uh, the the kernel the kernel algorithm for the blockchain system. So from the technical perspective, the industry enter a new stage. Also, the application progress from POC to practice, and the investment increasing compared with the early research. Governments also change the view from observed to supervised. The industry developed very fast, so standardization is most important for the progress and for the future. When we talk about the blockchain, many experts can talk about many theory from different perspectives. Why blockchain like this? The other technology are not are, are just a start from technical view. For example, we can understand easily for big data and the cloud computing, but we don't know exactly what is a blockchain from just from the name. Uh, blockchain can be discussed for 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 from uh, technology, application, econo economy, society, and even philosophy. We have um, analyzed that because the blockchain tech based on the security algorithms, so it can provide trust for application and accelerate the tr transaction of, of value for economy and enhance the co collaboration for society and maybe change the productive relationship finally. However, I want to say that it's nothing without technique and the practice and the engineering. And I advise we should focus more on the practice than just the proposed proposing many kind of theory in the in the in, in the blockchain industry. Why blockchain is important? As everyone knows, that IoT got data from physical world, and cloud computing manage the basic resource. Big data deal with the larger number of data. AI utilize data to create the wisdom for robots. All technologies achieve one purpose, which is maximum the value of data. So. The precise and trustless data is necessary. It should be implemented by blockchain technology. So the blockchain is the accelerator of, of integrated technology. The combination of new generation technology will be formed a new infrastructure to support 
service layer, including specific, specific components that are consensus for blockchain, deep learning for AI, and so on. The infrastructure will be the new digital operation system. Eventually, to support the application layer containing the industry internet, commercial internet, and satellite internet, the whole digital ecosystem will focus on the data. If we extend our view, blockchain is the combination of P2P system and the consensus and, and the incentive and so on. And the blockchain, AI, big data are the gen new generation of information technology. I believe new generation IT may be merged with quantum computing, bell engineering, and the other innovation technology to form a new tech like system. Maybe we call it future IT. So for the future perspective, blockchain is just the component of the tech system. It's emerged with the special technical character in the specific period to solving the particular pro, pro, the particular problem focus on data so what is the essence of technology let's talk about the essence of the technology here is just my understanding Again, include include many tech such as the spring, the trigger, and so on. However, the purpose the purpose of a gun is fire a bullet, just like the component of a blockchain AI IoT is to maximum the value of the data, and the, the gun can be assembled to the helicopter as the weapon component. The helicopter can be an uh, important component of warship. The warship can be the member of the fleet. And the gun is the important tiny component in the huge system, just like the blockchain compared with the technic system. So we can see the essence of the tech is from, from the construction of spirits to to the construction of material. If we want to shoot a target, we build a gun as a tool to shoot the target. And the tech have the character of the combination circulation and the evolution. It will follow the progress from tech technic element aggregation to system and so on. It's just uh, like uh, the blockchain compared with the AI and the, and the, the IoT and the big data. Those new generation form a new structure to maximum the value of data. So finally, Let's talk about the relationship between tech and the human being. We are upgrading the blockchain, AI, and all kind of tech. We are upgrading our organizational model by open source. We are upgrading our energy by nuclear. And we are buying iPhone from 1 to 12, maybe, to upgrading our consumer uh, consumption. If we assume tech is a form of life, we are feeding it. So human being has been become the node of the network comparing with network is our node before. 
when we feeding the tech, we should also be careful the problem the, the, of the moral of ethical bring by tech, such as the deep fake. And it has brought more trouble for us. We should pay more attention to it seriously. We need standard to establish a moral baseline. So let's go back to the standard. Several months ago, I attended a conference held by an art university. I don't know, I didn't know what relationship between the art and the standard, even the blockchain, until the speaker just before me finished his speech. He described art is to find the beautiful things from the world and bring happiness to people. I suddenly understand the nature of the standard. We are trying to find the general law from the universe and transform complex phenomena into simple understanding. We are not only standard developer, we are also the artist in science. We should try our best to show the truth of the universe to the world. That is our mission. Standard is the cornerstone of discovering the basic law of the world to accelerate the social progress. Welcome to join us. Let's create the new future together. Thanks for the invitation again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ming, for this excellent presentation. Um, you know, this was super informative and, you know, that was great. I can tell the audience loved it. Um, and we have a, quite a few questions coming in. Um, just a reminder that the slides and the recording will be emailed out to everyone later this afternoon. Um, let's start with a question and answer from the panel. Uh, so, Ming, if you're ready, um, the first question is from Subhashish Patnavir. Um, he's asking, um, where can he uh, start learning this technology from scratch? Are there any links or instructions for a very beginner to get started learning it? Uh, Ming, are you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, now. So, sorry, can you hear me? Yes, Ming, I can hear you. Uh, Shall the I question the is, question? Uh, uh, so the question is, uh, uh, where should the, they start? to learn blockchain technology? Yes, yes. For a very beginner, where should they start learning okay. this technology from? Okay, okay I know. Uh, it's a great um, uh, question, maybe. I think so I start I start learning the, the blockchain technology from 2016. At that time, I don't know. I didn't know. Where should I start? So I just uh, take a, a famous book, maybe wrote by by uh, I, I I I can't remember the name of the book, but the the basic theory for the blockchain is just uh, the thinking, different thinking. Uh, with uh, with with the centralized and the de decentralized, we must know firstly what is the de decentralized and the centralized. The traditional system are all centralized system, and all the data put uh, should be put into one one huge server, maybe cloud computer cloud uh, platform. And for blockchain system, we we build the blockchain system uh, using the decentralized decentralized uh, technology. So the how to, 
the the most different thing is the decentralized. How to understand the decentralized? If you know the decent the meaning of the decentralized, so I think you know the 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 essence of the blockchain te technology and the the p2p system and the consensus and the incentive just the, the tiny technology for achieve the targets of decentralized so i think you can start from the decentralized to understand what is decentralized thank you okay um Going to the next question uh, from Dr. Soumya Banerjee. Uh, could you explain the self-sovereign in blockchain as identity management system by using hyperledger components? Sorry, I can't hear you. Uh, I'll repeat the question. Uh, the question is uh, asking for an explanation of self-sovereign in blockchain as identity management system by using hyperledger components. Uh, self, what? So, sorry, self. Self-sovereign in uh, blockchain. Self Okay. Actually, I didn't uh, uh, made the research on the hyperledger system because the hyperledger is just a, a kind of platform. A lot of a lot of uh, 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 valuable platform in the world, I think. But uh, the identity management is the most important in the blockchain technology. Things we should, we should match the 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 personal information to the the digital world. But actually, I didn't make the research for the hyperledger project. Sorry. Okay. Um, moving to the next question from Kaushalya Yatigam. Could you please explain how blockchain can be used in education? The, the, the typical uh, application is the uh, certificate, is the, is the certificate for, for the educate, education. A person who educated from a university, the university can Put the the the, the uh, data of the certificate into the uh, into the blockchain system, so nobody can change, and uh, uh, nobody can change the data. So if the if the student if the person got got a new job, and uh, he can send the link of the data on the blockchain to the employer and the employer can know the 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 certificates from the university and nobody had changed changed the data so it can be the the proof for the for the uh, person that is the typical uh, application uh, scenario Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, the next question is from Carolyn Carroll. Can you provide a list of the IEEE blockchain standards work in progress? Um, for IEEE, we have a procedure. Firstly, you need um, a power to set up a, a new project, a pair with the scope and the information about your proposal. After voting, after the permit, uh, after the voting, 
if the power has um, uh, permitted by by the NASCOM, so uh, uh, the new project can be started. And uh, you need uh, organize. You need uh, uh, host a uh, working group meeting and for the development of a standard. And after you finish your working draft, you can promote to the com- uh, pro- 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 propose to the committee, and the committee can review the standard. And after this procedure, the committee, uh, the, the, the committee. Uh, deliver the 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 part the the part to the uh, ref con and the ref con also uh, need the vote vote for the for the part uh, for for the uh, working draft and then after the procedure policy and the audit uh, audit uh, policy review so the the standard can be published. Uh, for my experience, for example, P twenty four eighteen dot two, we have we we took maybe about two years from the new part to the published uh, standard. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um... This question is from Greg, Greg Coach. Blockchain is trustless, which means no need for trust and identification, but governments require trust and identification. What value in your presentation is contributed by the government? What are governments willing to contribute to blockchain and where are the government contributions in the IEEE standard? Mm, that is a b- big question. I think maybe I cannot. We cannot solve the standard. Cannot solve all the uh, problem from different side. Maybe government. Maybe industry. Maybe the other relatives. But I think at least we can build a baseline. First, we tell the. Uh, tell uh, the people that what is blockchain. This is very important. A lot of people have different understanding about blockchain. Secondly, the industry that the blockchain, the kernel, the key technology of blockchain, and the 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 maybe right now and uh, for the future. For example, the chain it's the the next the is the next step very important step for the for the blockchain technology so we can develop the standard to to form the uh, cross chain structure so the industry can uh, can develop it according to the standard and the government, what kind of benefit fits for the government? I think, for for example, if we build a baseline for the technic from the technic technic uh, perspective, so the government can save a lot of money and save a lot of time to tell the people you should uh, tell the different uh, relate uh, relative that you should follow, you just follow the standard. So it's okay, you can connect, you can transform the, the value, and you can get the, you, you can form the ecosystem. The government just, uh, the, the, the standard can help the government to build a baseline to form an ecosystem. But uh, I think there have a lot of uh, conflicts in the uh, for the technique and the government. A lot of, maybe AI AI have uh, AI uh, right now deepfake is the big problem for the government, even for the in- industry. But we cannot say AI is not it's a bad technique. 
technique. It's just the the technique is, is just a technique. It has no character of philosophy, uh, philosophy society, uh, po- political character. Depend on how the government can control the or not control can use you utilize the technology. That is my answer, maybe. Thank you so much. And um, I know we are on the top of the hour. Uh, and uh, maybe we can take a few more questions until um, until we stop for the day and, and take over the rest of the questions later over email. Um, the next question, again, is from Greg uh, asking, why did blockchain fail as a protocol back in the early 90s? So, sorry. Uh, I, I'll repeat. Why did blockchain uh, yes. okay. fail as a protocol back in the early 90s? Uh, sorry, I didn't follow the question. Um, are, are you aware of any reasons if blockchain as a technology, as a protocol, failed in the 1990s? 1990s? Uh, 1990s. Sorry, I, I, I didn't follow you, your question about this, actually. Um, Okay, maybe Greg, if you would want to send this uh, over email to Ming, um, and he can see uh, if he can reply to you over email. Okay, I will, um, I will answer the question uh, by email. Okay. Sure. Um, uh, a lot of maybe. Yeah, maybe we can take the next question. It's from Anna Polubar Barvia. Um, so what does CD, WD, and DIS mean at the slide with ISO? How many standards are already published and where can they be found? CD and what? CD, CD WD, uh, and DIS. There's a slide the along with ISO. Uh, as I remember, WD is the working draft. Uh, this is uh, the uh, final. This uh, is the last st- st- uh, stage for the for the for the for the pub- for publish final. This uh, after this is final. This and this is the previous stage for for the standard, just before final. This. And uh, WD is a uh, uh, working draft. CD, CD, CD is the is the later stage for 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 WD. So so the others. Uh, let let me think about. So we start from the WD, and then it's the. Uh, uh, CD CD is a committee draft, and this and uh, after this, so we have four four stage for the st- international standard for ISO. So that, uh, the final this is the last one. So we start from WD and the CD and the this and the final this. Okay. Um... Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, another question from Greg. Um, I think this is more of a statement. Uh, blockchain is a delivery system with built-in trust, a protocol. It is not about tax collection. Why even think that way about a protocol? Um, I will leave it as uh, as a statement. 
uh, this next question from Manoj BS. When there are multiple standards such as IEEE, ITU, and China, how will the system based on different standards interwork? Is it necessary or not? Mm. There is the, the, the most important problem for standard. The question is very, it's a great question. We even, we cannot solve it. I actually, uh, for my understanding, I, ITU is focused on the telecom standard. I, IEEE is uh, uh, focused on the, about uh, famous, not focused on famous on the engineering standard. And uh, ISO focus on the, how to say, foundation, foundational standard, maybe ISO uh, 9000, ISO uh, 27000, for example. And in China, we have a lot of standard. We have national standard, industry standard, and the group standard. For different kind of standard, firstly, we have the different scope. The scope is different. For example, the industry is just a standard is just to focus on maybe education industry, and the national standard focus on the 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 the, the, nas the national area. And uh, but uh, we, I think we have a lot of uh, overlap between the, those kind of uh, internet uh, national uh, the standard uh, group organization. Even now, I think we cannot solve the problem. But if we think from the marketing perspective, so if the standard is a great standard, so most people can use it. If not, so it's just the garbage, it should be into the garbage. So the standard is also the marketing uh, also can be seen from the marketing perspective. So we can we have a lot of uh, standard. The is the same, but maybe maybe one. For example, ISO nine thousand is the famous standard in the world. So nobody should be uh, all all the all kind of organizations should be followed by. I I uh, should be followed. Uh, should should follow the IS, ISO 9000. Maybe there has another standard focus on the quality management, but uh, ISO 9000 is the famous one. Nobody care about the other one. That's my answer. Thank you. Sure. Let's take a last question, and then maybe the remaining ones can be answered over email. Um, how is this blockchain related to artificial intelligence? This question is from Raj Shekhar um, Nadi. Okay, so I, I, from my perspective, all the new generation technology are focused on the data. For example, AI need data for deep learning. The data is most important for AI algorithm. So the precise and the higher quality data is necessary. So the blockchain can can provide a secure, security uh, system structure to protect, protect the, the data. So the to pro 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 uh, to provide a higher quality data for AI, and AI got the higher quality data, can analyze the higher quality results. That is the relationship between between AI and the blockchain. The key element of the of them is data. Blockchain pro protect the data, and the AI utilize the data. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, uh, Ming, for patiently answering so many questions. There are a few more um, which are unanswered, and I would uh, maybe request Scott to capture them over email and send it out for you to reply and uh, offline. Uh, I would like to take this moment to thank you for all the wonderful presentation and answering of the questions. Uh, and I would like to thank you all um, participants for attending. Uh, just to let you know, we have a few more webinars um, scheduled for 1 11th June uh, that talks about applications of WSN in the agriculture industry. The second one coming up on 15th of June, consensus protocols in blockchain systems. And in uh, on uh, June 22nd, coming up with making conflict work. In the email we send you with the slides and recording, you'll also have a link to register for these uh, webinars plus other upcoming webinars in the future months. Um, thank you all and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Scott. Welcome to China for everyone. Thank you.